Hi everybody, it's Heavy Dobby. Uh, today is Thursday, January 17th, 2013, and I am on my good, bad, and ugly round is what I'm calling it. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, anyway, P2 VLCD 12, things are moving right along. I'll do a report, a weekly report on Monday the 21st, so stay tuned. I wanted to um, acknowledge Pierre, uh, who is doing the VLCD HCG protocol. And Pierre, I wanted to say to you, oh, your channel name is yours truly 83, that's U R S. T R U L Y 83. Um, Pierre, you went through a stall and you stuck with it. You hung in there. I could tell just by your countenance that you were upset. And uh, I just want to say thank you for your persistence and patience, and um, it paid off. Uh, I love alliteration, by the way. Um, and what I learned from you is that sometimes when we do stalls, when we have stalls, that it's because we maybe have kind of gone off of the um, basics and uh, we're not following the protocol according to the original list of foods and stuff. So we have to kind of like go back, go to the foundation, and then um, for you, look what happened. Yay. Yay, Pierre. Trisha, rocking HCG. You gotta go check her out if you haven't. She weighs today 130 pounds, point zero. And uh, that's her weight, but her weight loss is over 130 pounds in one year. 2012 was her year to become slender and fit, and she is. Um, Trisha, you are an inspiration. You have encouraged all of us who are practicing the protocol to stick with it, keep going, and those of us who are not yet doing the protocol because we haven't made that decision, I know that you, your, um, your story will be told for as long as your videos are up on the internet and people are looking for an answer. Yay, thank you so much, thank you. And um, Trisha H, uh, rocking HCG, she lives in Oregon. Um, we're probably two to three hours apart in dry, in a drive. So uh, definitely going to get together. Yes, we are. I wanted to share with you my version of Chocolate Delight. There's been some discussion. I know Parker. Mwah. Parker Wallace. Eight, what is it? Um, HCG chick on a stick. A HCG chick doing HCG. I'll put it down below. <laughs> I just know where it's Parker. Parker, I love you. I'm going to love everybody in a very special and deep way. But you have opened your heart up and made yourself so vulnerable to all of us. Um, with your store of um, given of yourself to us. But Parker, I wanted to share my recipe for chocolate delight that I just absolutely love. Um, it's a ratioed recipe, which means it's one part chocolate powder, cocoa powder, two parts Truvia and two parts coconut oil. A little bit of salt, then a little bit of vanilla. Now let me tell you my um, style of making it. The coconut oil needs to be melted, liquid, but it needs to be turning back into solid, so it needs to be opaque, starting to turn opaque. The Truvia, what I do is I put a bunch of Truvia in my magic bullet, and you know how people who make, bartenders who make martinis, they um, pick up the container and they shake it uh, to get it nice and cold? That's what I do with my magic bullet when I'm making my Truvia. It has to be powdered, powdered Truvia, powdered sugar. And then my cocoa powder is just plain cocoa powder. So if I was going to make, for example, two servings, let's say, of chocolate delight, I would take my 
one tablespoon of cocoa powder, part one part. I would take two tablespoons of uh, powdered truvia and two tablespoons of coconut oil that is starting to solidify. It's a little white, got a little opaqueness to it. I put in a pinch of salt and a little bit of vanilla and stir. And it will start solidifying pretty quickly and it's like fudge. Um, so give it a try. I think you're your guy JP might like this one a lot um, it's a start so let's say instead of vanilla you could put in peppermint extract uh, or you could put in orange extract so uh, play with it um, I hope some I hope you try it and if you do would you just mention it tell us how it what you think of it and if you made any changes what they were um, some people do liquid stevia. I have never had luck, although I think I have a really good stevia, um, but I've never had luck making it just right. Um, sometimes the, the liquid uh, sets the cocoa off. So I think that's it. Six minutes, seven minutes, okay. I'm out of here. Bye, love you guys.